Okay students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and welcome back to Little Learner Study Club. Okay, so maybe you all can remember that what we learned in the last video, right? Okay, so we learned the grade 7 geography in the last video. So can you all remember the three parts which we learned in your geography? So maybe you all can remember, right? We learned rotation. Revolution and we learn that what is a leap year, how does a leap year come, right? So I explained it so clearly for y'all, right? I ex explained it so clearly for y'all and I gave some questions regarding these three points. So maybe y'all wrote the questions and the answers. So the part two video, I will be doing it in the next session. And now in this session, I'm going to start science. Okay, so once again, again, I'm going to start science for y'all. Uh, and I'm going to start the fifth lesson, that's acids and bases. I will be teaching it in a simple way, okay? Okay, so now let us go into the lesson. Acids and bases. This is what we are going to learn today, no? So it is the lesson number five. I'm sorry, students. It's lesson number five. Okay, so so you all have eaten so many fruits, like right? So all the fruits they don't have the same taste. Now see, there are apples. There are two types of apple. That is red apple and green apple. But red apple they have different type of taste, and uh, green apple they have different type of taste. Like with uh, watermelon, orange, kiwi, grapes, um, banana, pears. Uh, guava everything they have different types of taste because they contain different chemical compounds in them okay so some fruits are there such as orange pineapple lemon tamarind and some flavors such as vinegar lime tomato they are in sauté the reason for the sauté is they contain the acids in them now some fruits are there, some fruits, some flavors and those are there. They contain acidic taste in them. Because, uh, sorry not acidic taste, they contain sour taste in them. Because there are so many acidic substances no, contained no, in no. them. Okay, so likewise there are some other uh, things which contains the base substance now these things they contain acidic substance likewise there are some other things which contains the base substance okay so sodium bicarbonate milk of magnesia lime water okay so these three things they contain chemical compounds that are called as bases so what does these things contain they contain uh, chemical compounds which is called as bases substances you can tell it as bases but i'm just writing it as substances okay so there are some you all may be hearing something which is neutral substance no neutral substance means it's not acid and it's not base it's both in equal in the middle part that is why we call it as the neutral substance okay okay so water alcohol salt solution kerosene these things they doesn't show the properties of acids and bases so just because of that we call them as the neutral substances okay okay so now we will be learning the acid and bases that are available in the school laboratory and in home okay so in uh, in some of the schools there will be uh, in some of the schools, there is a laboratory, you know, a science lab, a computer lab, a library. So, like that, there will be so many labs in some schools, right? So, now, in this, we are going to learn the acid and bases that are available in some schools, in some science labs and in the home. So, that then you all can try it in your home also, right? Okay. Okay, so in your book, in the page number 64, there is an activity, you know. Do you all know the activity? 5.1. 
okay it's okay if you don't know i will be teaching it today right so you will need some shoe flowers the petals of the shoe flower lime juice vinegar soapy water lime water ash dissolved water and common salt solution with water okay so i'll say i'll tell the method that you will need to do it okay so first you must boil the shoe flowers and prepare a solution so if you boil the shoe flowers in a hot water you will uh, you will get the color right so the color will be something it will be in red red dorals it will be in dark pink okay this solution only you will get if you boil the shoe flowers petals in the water right okay so after that you must take two equal volumes of 2 ml of solutions given in the table below into separate test tubes okay so into test tubes you must take lime juice vinegar soap water lime water ash mixed water common salt solution and water so lime juice is acid vinegar is acid soap water is base lime water is base ash mixed water is base common salt solution and water are neutral so you must take it uh, you must take these things you must pour the uh, you must pour the solution which you got after boiling the uh, petals you must pour the solutions into the test tubes with this with these solutions and you must see which color you have got and you must write it okay so i haven't do this exercise i mean i haven't do the activity because i don't have shoe flower at my home who have the shoe flowers you all can do it okay okay so now let us go for the next part okay students so mostly when learning about the acid and bases you all will be hearing a name you all will be hearing a name that is called as indicators have you all heard the name indicators if you all have heard that's fine if you all haven't heard a name like that just listen to what i am saying okay so the solution the solutions or the things which give a different color with the acid and bases now i said you know this lime juice and those things so let's take the water and the neutral substance now uh, no not the neutral i must take a acidic or the basic substance right okay so i'll take the soap water so if you take the soap water soap water is a basic substance no soap water is a based mix substance then if you take the soap water and if you put a solution into it you will get a color no you will get a different type of color that color is called as the indicator okay okay so the solution or the thing that give a different color with the acid or base substance are known as the indicators right so litmus is such an indicator that can be found in the laboratory there are two types of litmus they the two types of litmus are red litmus and the blue litmus right but you all uh, they, they mostly take it in the lab but we mustn't catch it with our normal hand you must put a gloves to use it because those litmus are so dangerous okay that can uh, that can affect your hand okay so when you all are using litmus papers at school or at home it's better to wear gloves right okay so what are the types of litmus the types of litmus are red litmus and blue litmus sorry these are the two types of litmus okay so in the red litmus if you put a acidic substance then it will turn into red only if you put the acidic substance however for the red litmus it will be in red okay red meat litmus however it will be in red if it is a acidic substance okay and red litmus if it is a base of substance it will turn into blue it will turn into blue likewise red litmus with the neutral substance also it will be in red only so how does the red litmus changes the color for acidic substance it uh, it, it is uh, it is as it is in the red for neutral also in red but only in a basic it turns into 
blue likewise it's easy to find the theme which means we will show you a easy method to find this because how are these are the main things that will come for your exams so i'll show you some simple methods to find this okay wait okay so this is the method to find which means now red litmus and blue litmus so these are the two types of litmus right so you have two types of litmus that is red litmus and the blue litmus and these are the acidic base substances these are the base base substances and these are the neutral base substances okay so for the acidic base substances the red litmus will turn into red the blue litmus also will turn into red okay so for acidic substances both will be in r which means red for base substance substances both will be in blue which means b only for neutral substances the red will be in red and the blue will be in blue red will be in red blue will be in blue this is the method to find how every time keep it in your mind for acidic substances both will be in red base of substances both will be in blue only for the neutralization substances only both the colors get changes how means red to red blue to blue okay yeah nothing else new in this part okay so there is table 5.3 but that's very hard to do for you all so we you will not need to do the page number 5.3 but you must know the indicators that is used to prepare okay so just see that part okay so now let us go for the next part so there are some types of acidic substance so they have give three types of acidic substance that will be used frequently in the laboratory okay okay so the three types of acids that are used in the laboratory is the first acid is sulfuric acid the second acidic substance is nitric acid the third acidic substance is hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid so these are the three types of acids i mean acidic substances that is used in the uh, laboratory okay so now let us learn the two types of acid that we that are used not two wait a little yeah the two types of uh, base substances okay so the two types of base substances that are used in the laboratory is the first one sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is the first base okay so the first acidic substance is sodium hydroxide and the second acidic substance is potassium hydroxide uh once again students wait a bit okay so what are okay so the acidic substances that are used frequently in the laboratory is sulfuric acid nitric acid and hydrochloric acid likewise the strong bases that are used frequently in the laboratory is sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide so there are some following indicators that can be used to identify the acidic basic and the neutral substances in the laboratory okay so uh, you can see the indicator nature of the indicator color with acidic substances and color with basic substances okay so first is the blue litmus for the blue litmus it is a kind of color paper strips right with the acidic substance it turns into red with the basic substance it turns into blue no color change red litmus also is a type of colored paper strips for uh, red litmus it acidic substance is turn into red no color change with the basic substance is turn into blue okay ph papers it's a kind of uh, that's also a kind of colored paper strips okay so with the acidic substance it turns into red orange and yellow with the basic substance it turn into dark green blue and violet phenol for the phen 
phenolphthalein phenolphthalein is a kind of white powder so this powder will be dissolved in the ethanol or surgical spirit the solution is colorless it means with the acidic substance it's colorless with the basic substance it turn into pink and the last one is methyl orange methyl orange is also a kind of yellow powder it mostly dissolved in water and the solution is in yellow color it means with the basic substance is in yellow with the acidic substance is turn into red okay so students this is called a ph paper this is a ph paper okay so see there is there there are some kind of paper strips no so see students from 1 to 6 now if you put it uh, now if you see if you want to see the solution which is if, is if it is acidic or base substance if it is from 1 to 6 it is the acidic substance see the colors if it is if it is these colors those are acidic substance from 8 to 14 if it is these colors then they are base substance if it is this light green the number 7 if it is this green then however it is a neutral substance if it is no color change so this is called as the phenolphthalein powder it's a white color powder right see with the color with bases it's in pink with color in the color with acidic substance it's colorless like was methyl orange powder see it's in orange color no methyl orange powder the color is in yellow we color with the acidic substance it turn into red the color with the base of substance it's in yellow no color change right okay so so activity 5.4 ph paper solutions used in activity 5.3 these are the things which you will need okay method dip the ph papers in the solutions and compare the colors with the given code arrange the solutions according to the consequent numbers this one you can't do at home for this how are you will need a science lab okay so from here the lesson is over i mean the lesson is finished you can refer the activity 5.5 and you must try to do the uh, exercise that is in page number 70 and 71 try to do it alone with re by reading the summary and if you want you can just see my video also when you are doing the pay, uh, exercise and don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel with your friends and family uh, i have uploaded the zoom details so if you are willing to join you can first join the free sessions that are conducted on uh, 15 16th and 17th of october uh, me and my sis is only going to do this and bo we both are lady teachers only all don't want to get scared of this uh, uh, this situations and all uh so we have uploaded all the informations that are included in this zoom details and mainly you must see the zoom details in the description box because all are there in the description box the time table is also given uh, likewise our name is also given in the description box so that then we're not getting scared you can join no um yeah and the phone number is also given if you want to get more informations then you can contact us even our whatsapp group chat link is also there if you press the link you can totally join our group and thank you for watching my video